Hello and welcome to the Sand to Pearls Market Commentary, week ending Friday, February 1st, 2013. Market Bread. With this past week's market advance, our bull bear point and figure ratio rose from 2.69 to 2.72, very slightly further into strongly bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 1% to 2,406. The count of bearish stocks decreased 2%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns increased 1%. The Sand to Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now six consecutive weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking on the membership tab, and clicking sign up. There is a free two-week trial membership available to those who wish to become more acquainted with the market signal. And just as a reminder, four out of five stocks follow the market trend. So having a market signal to follow can be very helpful in making your trading and investment decisions. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, rose 57 points for the 10th rise in 19 weeks. At a positive 497.86 points, it remains above the September 2012 top, November 2011 top, the July 2012 top, the June 2010 bottom, the March 2011 bottom, the June 2011 bottom, the August 2011 bottom, the December 2011 bottom, the March 2012 bottom, and the November 2012 bottom, but below the November 2010 top, the January 2011 top, the November 2011 top, and the February 2012 top. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the Russell 2000 ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. In the last two weeks, it had four accumulation days and one distribution day. Of the other indexes, both the S&P 500 deposit receipts and the Diamonds Trust ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the Russell 2000 ended the week in accumulation mode. Momentum the CCI 20 daily began a Woody's uptrend nine weeks ago. It continues above plus 100, well outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's downtrend nine weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend nine weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly now has five weeks above zero and at 112.13 is outside the plus or minus 50 range for a valid zero line reject signal. So with both the weekly and the daily one must wait for a zero line reject until the pattern changes somewhat. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five and all but one of the bottom five industries are positive. Bullish Brokers has entered and leads the top five. Internet remains in the top five. Gold and Silver remains in and continues to lead the bottom five. Banks and CompTech have left the bottom five. Bearish, oil has entered and oil services has re-entered the top five. 
Networkers has entered the bottom five. Disk drives, computer hardware, and S&P retail have left the top five. For our focus this week, today is the 100th anniversary of the income tax in America. But how lawful is the tax? Income tax is one of the things that we are supposed to take for granted. Death and taxes are unavoidable, right? But throughout history, typically, the people of a land were not the ones who sustained the land with their taxes. For instance, Rome, it was the conquered territories who paid tax, which is why Jesus said when asked about taxes that the sons are free. That kind of implies that the sons of a land are not, not meant to pay taxes. So, little food for thought. Perhaps things will change in the future. Thank you for listening to and watching this week's S2P Market Signal Commentary. This commentary is submitted by Donna Lee. And have a great week coming up. Happy trading.